Yeah, Mike, well, there's still reminders here at the scene. There's crime tape here and markings on the road. In fact, there's one there where the deputy was actually hit. Now, they initially thought he'd been dragged, but they know now that he was launched into the air where the next side of markings are, maybe 30, 40 feet away. It's a chaotic construction zone. Traffic, heavy machinery in tight quarters. So it was like a pathway blocked out with cones. Deputy Curtis Taylor is on duty. You can see him with a flashing light. His cruiser is lit up too. But in this exclusive video, watch what happens. Just after the truck, a car coming from the opposite direction hits the deputy. A caller driving an officer was struck by a vehicle. Watch again. The deputy is launched into the windshield and over the car. I just saw a blur shoot past me. The car doesn't even slow down. Among the first to call 911, is Donald Cole. Uh, a car just hit a uh, police officer and uh, kept going and didn't stop. It, he landed right there. Donald showed us where it happened. He had just talked to Deputy Taylor, who had helped him make his way through the construction. Seconds later, the deputy was hit. The car came past me and, and I was like, oh my God, and it was just, it was crazy. The driver who hit Deputy Taylor took off. Investigators were searching for a royal blue Honda Civic. And now they say they found the driver, Daniel Reynolds, along with the vehicle involved. We sent one of our investigators up to the scene about 925 this morning. He confirmed the uh, damage was consistent and there was physical evidence which led us to believe that this was the vehicle involved. It was a violent collision that left the deputy hospitalized and those who did stop with images they can't forget. Now Reynolds has a troubling driving history. He was charged with uh, driving under a suspended license. He also drove over a fire hose one time and also was charged with leaving the scene of an accident another time. This time he's charged with felony leaving the scene of an accident. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Thank you, Brian. And although critically hurt, Deputy Taylor was able to speak this morning. And he's at UC Medical Center right now, underwent surgery there. WLWT News 5's John London live with how he's doing tonight. John? Mike, he was in surgery this afternoon. Going in, his condition was critical but stable. Sheriff Neal telling us Taylor was coherent and able to converse briefly a few hours ago. He is described by those who know him as a deputy who never has a down day. Curtis Taylor, a 21-year veteran. After being critically injured while working a traffic detail late Thursday night, he was coherent the next morning when the sheriff went to check on him. He was awake, um, and they were prepping him uh, for surgery. Uh, so our visit was short, but we we got a chance to uh, uh, talk with him and, as you know, and reassure him that we're here for him and uh, keep his spirits up and everything. Taylor got his start a generation ago at the jail, worked his way up to patrol duty. Columbia Township, Sycamore Township, Green Township, Lincoln Heights, most recently Anderson Township. A single father of a 10-year-old girl, picking up extra off-duty details to be even more of a fatherly provider. Captain Tom Butler was his supervisor at one time. Back when Sheriff Neal was a deputy, he and Taylor worked traffic and security together at UC. For law enforcement, where each depends on the other on a daily basis, the impact of something like this is immediate and intensely profound. You close ranks, it, it makes you think. Uh, every time we step out of a car on a traffic stop or, or doing construction, you're out there making extra money trying to support your family. Curtis is helping support with his daughter and giving her a better life. You don't expect to be run over while you're directing traffic. Now, the extent of Taylor's injuries were not disclosed by Sheriff Neal. Uh, he says, however, that uh, Taylor will likely be out of commission for quite a while. Live at UC Medical Center, John London, WWT News 5. John, thank you.